Well, hello, hello, hello. I'm writing the name of an artist who has inspired today's lesson. Her name is Lois Melu Jones. She was an African-American artist and she had a love for the style of African masks. She wanted to incorporate part of her heritage into her painting. So she used a lot of masks in her artwork. So on this episode of Make Art with Mrs. M, we're going to be talking about Lois Melu Jones. Lois, yes. I've made a number of different examples from a basic design, this basic design. It has been fun to add colors. She liked to use bright colors. She studied all over. She was in France, she was in Haiti, and um, her artwork was really beautiful. If you notice, you can see the basic oval shape and the three lines at the top and the bottom of each of these designs, but you can see that each of them has been treated a little bit differently when it has been colored. I take every opportunity to make things new and different every time I make them, so let's go. Let's do one. Are you with me? Gosh, I hope so. <laughs> I'm going to use a marker, but use whatever you like. If I go too fast, make sure you push the pause button and um, catch up with me here. First step is to make an oval in the middle of the page for the shape of the mask. Now this design is so simple. Ovals, straight lines, and then a few designs here on the mask and we'll be done in no time. Now take your time. I. I'm not going to say rush on this part. Take your time to make additional ovals around the first one. You're going to make three more ovals. So that's the first one that I've made in addition to the, to the initial oval. So we're going to do two more. Two more, let's go. I'm going to take my time so I make sure this oval is about the same distance away from the one I drew before it. And this is the last time around. So basically you have four ovals nestled inside of one another. Very good. It's sort of rhythmic to me when there's repetition of shapes, it's rhythmic. And then it makes me think of Africa and I just, I think of drums. I think of when a mask would be worn during some kind of celebration or um, ceremony and there would probably some, be some drumming. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to do is draw the face on the mask. So let's go with two bumpy lines, two curved lines, bump, bump like this. It, uh, it's already looking maskish. <laughs> Next, add an oval for the mouth at the bottom and a smaller oval inside. The mouth is open. Start here at this point and bring a line that goes straight down almost to the mouth, but not quite. This is going to be the bridge of the nose. Next, we'll add eyes that look like a football shape. So it's a curved line on the top and a curved line at the bottom. The shape of a leaf, the shape of a lemon. They are pointed at the corners, not like ovals which are rounded at the ends. Ah! That didn't turn out like I wanted it to. So guess what? I'm going to have to add another line here. I wanted this to have symmetry, so guess what I need to do? Yes, draw one that matches on this side. Sometimes we have to do that. Oh, that's going to be pretty cool. 
Oh, that was a happy accident for real. That was definitely a happy accident. Then I'm going to add a smaller shape, that shape that is a curved line at the bottom and a curved line at the top there. Wow, looks pretty cool. All right, because when masks are worn, there has to be an opening so that the mask wearer can see out. So that's the opening. Normally, if we were making eyes, um, most people would make a circular shape in the middle for the pupil. But um, for these masks, their shape was a, a very different. Down this line, the bridge of the nose, uh, at the bottom, we're going to come up with a leaning line on both sides. Now that looks like an arrow, but that's not our goal. We're gonna start right, right here and come down and touch, come down and touch. Very good. So the mask part is done. The last step is to draw straight lines that come across. And I'm gonna start at the top I'm going to start with the very first oval we drew for the mask. I'm going to make a straight line out to the edge of the page, straight as I can. Now, if you have a ruler, a ruler might be good for this part, but um, not everybody has a ruler. So I'm just going to do this freehand for those of us who don't have rulers. Then I'm going to come on the other side and continue that straight line to the edge of the page. Now I tend to take my pencil, pen, or whatever and go rather quickly and just I just move my hand. I don't try to push down and, and apply a lot of pressure. I just let my hand glide across the page to make that straight line and there. Do the best that you can. Start at the top and keep going with these straight lines out to the edge of the page for all four of those ovals. And guess what you'll do next? You'll repeat that step at the bottom. So to the edge of the page, to the edge of the page, to the edge, and done. I have the basic basic framework for making a bunch of designs for the mask. That's what we have here. I have done it with marker and added um, different lines, even on top with similar colors. I have done it with crayon where I just really just made the crayon marks just really dark and the colors are very rich here. I added more details with lines on the mask and extra shapes just for this to be unique and different from the others. And then on this one, which I need to finish, I added some designs at the top in that empty space. And as you can see down here, it's kind of crooked. Uh, it's okay. Uh, I stuck with a color theme right here, a color family, um, primary colors. And then I added a little bit of light blue with the primary colors because I just wanted a, a little something extra. Uh, I love the way that these lines make and like an optical illusion here. It, it's kind of vibrating and again, that rhythmic feeling that comes. So thank you, Miss Lois Melu Jones, for your influence over me as a teacher. Because she was a teacher. Yes, she worked hard. And I, guess what? She's inspired me. I ought to paint more. <laughs> I ought to paint more. I ought to paint and teach just as she did. She's inspirational and a wonderful artist. And I'm glad we could share this time together.